10 rabbit myths you need to stop believing. Hello, and welcome back to our channel. We're happy to have you here. There are many misconceptions about rabbits floating around that cause a lot of problems if you're new to raising. So in this video, we'll bust 10 common rabbit myths that you need to stop believing. Myth number one, rabbits are good with kids. Although kids absolutely love playing with a cute bunny, it can actually be a bad idea since bunnies are very delicate and can be injured quite easily if mishandled. Also, when rabbits feel threatened, they may cause injury to the child when trying to escape. Myth number two, rabbits have a short life. A rabbit's lifespan depends greatly on the kind of environment in which they live and the kind of care they receive. So while wild rabbits only live around two to three years, rabbits that are neutered, kept indoors, and properly cared for can stay happily alive for seven to 10 years. Myth number three, rabbits never bite. While it's true that domesticated rabbits are docile, timid creatures, they can and will give you a painful nip if they feel threatened. Moreover, you may get some real scratches from their claws when they try to flee away. Myth number four, rabbits smell bad. Rabbits that are not cared for do stink, and this applies to most pet rodents. But the reality is, rabbits generally like to keep themselves clean by grooming each other and are always excreting far away from their resting place. And they don't stink as long as they're neutered or sprayed and trained to use the litter box. Myth number five, rabbits long to live outdoors. People commonly have misconceptions that rabbits will feel depressed if kept indoors and will truly be happy if kept outdoors. But since rabbits are natural prey animals, they prefer to live securely in a close but safe environment rather than being in open areas where they always fear encountering predators. If you like these kinds of practical videos that get right to the point and you want to keep learning more interesting rabbit facts, then be sure to subscribe to the channel. Tap the like button to let us know you appreciate our hard work. Thanks. Myth number six. A carrot is the staple food for rabbits. This is one of the most common misconceptions about rabbits. Because wild rabbits are known to raid carrots from the garden, it is often thought that carrots are their favorite food. In reality, rabbits are going to spend most of their time chewing on hay rather than on carrots. In fact, carrots are high in carbohydrates compared to other green veggies, and hence are more suitable as an occasional treat than a regular food for your rabbit. Myth number seven, rabbits are low maintenance. While it won't cost you a lot of money to take care of rabbits, it does take immense effort to create a safe and interesting environment for them, providing them company, feeding them a proper diet, trimming their nails, and making sure they don't hurt them. Rabbits also need to be vaccinated and fixed at the right age in order to live a healthy life. So yes, for most people, rearing rabbits is definitely not a low maintenance and it's fair. Myth number eight. Rabbits can be kept with guinea pigs. Giving your rabbit a guinea pig as a friend, thinking that this will provide company for your rabbit and at the same time avoid creation of new litters, is sure to backfire badly as your bunny will constantly bully the poor guinea pig. Although they both belong to the rodent family, rabbits and guinea pigs end up crossing each other because of their different body language and energy. Myth number nine. Rabbits can see in the dark. Since rabbits are most active during twilight hours, they're generally thought to possess good night vision. But like us humans, rabbits too struggle to see in the dark and have to rely on their ultra-sensitive hearing and smell to detect objects at night. You can check out our Can Rabbits See in the Dark video for more information. You'll find the link in the description. Myth number 10. Rabbits enjoy being cuddled. With their cute eyes and fluffy tails, it is not denying that rabbits make you feel oh so cuddly. But unlike cats or dogs, rabbits absolutely hate to be lifted off the ground onto your chest for a cuddle. If you really want to pet your bunny, you should sit on the ground and let them come over to you on their own. But even then, rabbits hate getting grabbed, so you should not try to lift them onto your lap, but rather entice them to come on their own using a treat. To know more, check out our video, Do Rabbits Like to Be Held? The link's in the description. So, these are 10 common myths about rabbits that you need to stop believing right now. That's all for now. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.